Hello and welcome to Uncommon Games Showcase. The game in this installment is Warcraft 2 The Dark Saga for the PlayStation. Warcraft 2 was ported along with um, its expansion Beyond the Dark Portal to the PlayStation in 1997 and is essentially um, the same game as the PC original but has some enhancements for the, piece, for the uh, console version such as better controls, um, being able to select multiple units, um, more than nine of them as was the limit in the original version, and it also has some new custom um, scenarios. It does have some fairly lengthy load times, but for all you're getting for the game, it is pretty much worth it. Alright, so I got it in my PS2 here, so let's turn it on and let's play some. As the game was released before the introduction of the analog stick, and indeed that was even before the DualShock, uh, the DualShock uh, controller, this controller, this game is controlled strictly with the D-pad, and moving the cursor around the D-pad is not actually too bad. It's pretty optimal for the PlayStation. Okay, that's, so let's choose English. Warcraft 2 is one of my favorite games of all time, and it's one of my all-time favorite PC games from back in the day. Being able to play it on the console without having to install DOSBox or anything like that is, you know, really quite fantastic. I don't have to bother with the computer at all, I just play it on my, on my PS2. So again, this is Warcraft 2 The Dark Saga, which is a collection of both Warcraft 2 Tides of Darkness, the original version, and Warcraft 2 Beyond the Dark Portal. Alright, so let's just uh, start a new game. New campaign. Um, let's do the Orc campaign. The orc campaign of uh, Ties of Darkness. The once mighty army of Azoth lay among the blackened and charred remains of Stormwind Keep. Those that escaped fled across the Great Sea, bringing tales of the suffering they had faced at the hands of the orcish hordes. Eager to engage in battle once again, the orcs constructed ships of war to bear them across the Great Sea. There's one thing that's aged well about the game, it's definitely the voice acting. Almost everything is just awesome. The Horde is preparing to launch an assault against the mainland of Lordaeron. Orgrim Doomhammer, War Chief of the Orcish Hordes and ruler of the Blackrock Clan, has ordered you to establish a small outpost on Lordaeron's southern shores. 
To secure the Zoltair region as Doomhammer demands, you will need to construct a barracks and several farms to feed your troops. Your success may help us determine the extent of the pathetic human defenses and what resistance they can offer against our forces. So the controls, you move around with the D-pad, um, you select units by pressing the X button, you can tell them where to go by pressing the X button again, deselect by pressing circle, um, the, the, uh, when something is selected, pressing the triangle button will give you information about it, and, um, the, Square button will give you everything that it can the unit can do. But first the unit has to be selected. The shoulder buttons basically work as giving you access to the mini map as well as being able to um, select where you want um, the, where you want the camera to auto center, such as you can put it over there and then press the button uh, or what am I doing here? I gotta I gotta go like this. Like this. Unit selected. There we go. That's what I'm doing. And now I press the thing, and it takes me back. And this can be done for three areas on the map. All right. So send my. I have to build farms. It's an antiquated RTS game, but it's still a lot of fun, and I really enjoy Warcraft 2. If you so desire, as well as very other various other options, such as being able to change the, um, the cursor speed, um, the game speed itself, the sound effects, you know, all that typical stuff. As this game was early in the PlayStation's life, um, a memory card is not necessarily required to play it. The game also has a password feature, um, but if you do have a memory card, you won't need to enter passwords unless you really want to. So let's, uh, let's tell my dude to build a pig farm. You can monitor the process by selecting the pig farm and then selecting info by pressing a triangle. And when that's complete, it'll say work complete. I think I have to my I have to build several of these. Build a bunch of farms and 
Oh, I need to build a barracks. That's what he said. Huh? Alright, so let's tell this peon to build me a barracks. Oh, I need more gold. Okay. How much gold do I need? 700. I currently have 600. There we go. So next thing we gotta do is find a, find a free peon. That's what we'll do. Tell him to build a barracks. And let's build a barracks, I don't know, uh, right here. Barracks acts as a, as a training ground where you can um, train um, either the standard orcish knights, like these guys, the grunts, or you can get um, the axe soldiers. If you, later on, you'll be able to um, train mages and um, catapults and a few other units. But yeah, this is Warcraft 2, classic game. One of my favorites. And we gotta build one more farm. Let's have him build one more farm and I need. 600 gold to be to train a grunt. I have 400. No, I said I have more. There we go. Mission successful. report that a band of human soldiers have captured a war party led by troll commander Zul Jin and have taken them to a secret prison near the township of Hillsbrad. Alright. Um, I'm going to skip this and I'm going to show you um, how you can load games. Now the load system is very antiquated because this is, you know, in the early days of the PlayStation and memory cards were something that weren't um, very common and, you know, this is way before hard drives or anything like that. So let's end scenario, whoops, end scenario, let's put the main menu, yes. Alright, so load game. You have to select the bay manually, which memory card slot it is. It's slot 2. And then you have to select the, the game on the memory card. These are all, the, all, everything I have stored on this memory card. Now, you have to name the file yourself. So I called mine Warcraft 2, WC2. Okay, I named it weirdly, but yeah, that's what it is. And then select it, and then select load. All that to load like an 8 kilobyte file. Doing this advance you to um, the stage, or the level that you um, saved at. You can't save mid-level, um, so there's no, there's no cheating that way. Um, and the save is the same as entering in a lengthy password. Uh, so here we go. That's not all right. Right. 
Okay. Stone image and get there. And yeah, this you get the point. This is uh this is Warcraft 2, but running on the PlayStation. So again, guys, um, I appreciate the watching and uh, subscribing and all that. You know, make sure you like the video if you do, and um, you'll, if you want to see more in this series, uh, check the video description down below. It has all the links to all the past episodes. And again, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.